Hey y'all, so welcome back. Um, so today I am heading on a what is it? it looks like a oh god, please don't let this be a five day. Okay, it's a four day trip. Um so today is five legs and only the last leg is service. So I can dig it. And it's I think it's coffee team water actually. So first, um <laughs> my car got broken into last night. Well actually my car got ran through last night. Well, the night before. Um, <laughs> I can't say broke it into because my damn self left the door unlocked. It was my fault. Um, they took some money and I'm just like, okay. When I called my family, they was like, well, they could have stole the car. And I was like, you're so right. They definitely could have stolen the car. So, um, yeah, um, they took some money, but they didn't take anything like stuff I keep in here like I know my car was went through one time before and when I was in college and they took everything like they took the chargers they took um my little GPS my phone holder they took everything when I was in college and I was just like bro it's crazy the most high is working things out in my favor I have plans and things in my head that are things that are happening in my life that I'm just praying that the most high helps me with um he um will accomplish so yeah so i'm on the 200 today four legs say it's five legs but yeah after that i am i want to try and commute home well not commute home what is this oh, oh, oh i hate that i want to try and commute um well not commute i want to once i get home i have a three days off and then i want to try and commute back here to work and work my little trips and commute back so we're gonna see because i have three days off so there is no i have three days off and then i work for four days and then i have four days off so there is no reason for me to just be at home drive back here work and drive back so i'm just like why is it's cheaper to literally just park at the airport so that's what i'm about i'm gonna do um sometime next week so yeah come along with me you guys as yeah along with this journey for the trip all right i made it through kcm i was not random the guy was like um did you get random i was like no so i always get random in atlanta okay but um, I was walking to the airport. That's why was like, I love the color coordinator because my shirt's red, my luggage is black, my pants are navy blue. But um, my tags, they all match. I said, girl, yeah. If I, I don't do nothing, I'm gonna match. But all right, y'all, let's board. Easy flight, no service. Okay, my hair is first not giving what it should be giving because I was standing out waiting for the shuttle end and it shrink up, so whatever. But anyways, um, so. So two seats are basically broken so nobody can sit them. So that's two less seats. And also, there's no PBS here. So I have to say all my announcements. Yeah. Plus, I have to do my safety demonstration. Say it, then do it. Yeah. Y'all, the trip is not over. But I had to, I gotta run to my crash pad and get my computer. I got a two hour seat. So I had to get my computer. Y'all, it is storming. I am soaking wet. What do I suppose, oh my God. What do I supposed to do with my hair? I didn't have an umbrella. Like, what do, oh my God, what do I supposed to do? It's all white looking because of my hair products. Oh my God. You know how to say you're supposed to kind of work with your hair wet. Oh Jesus. So, oh my God, like, what do I do? I look a mess. Oh my God. Jesus. Okay, y'all look, I got my laptop, I'm, I'm ready to go, but I don't know what this is giving, but I'm glad I had my headband on. I try to keep my part, but it was very much giving, what is it, Florence Evans from Good Times, it was very much giving that. So, um, no, I didn't keep the part, but, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but 
I gotta be at the airport an hour before the plane take off. It's just that little section right there. You know what? I'm gonna just have to get rid of my part. My part, I try to keep it right right there. It shorty just gotta go. Okay. And excuse my car, y'all. I gotta get some brake pads or something. I'll get that this week. Okay. <laughs> Okay, y'all, update on the hair. I took the headband off. I look a mess. Like, y'all, I haven't looked like this in a long time, like, before my hair started growing. Like, if this look a mess. But I got Popeyes. I got five tenders, mashed potatoes, a whole bunch of barbecue sauce and a Powerade. And, um, yeah, I got enough just for getting late night, get dinner, but I got one more leg. And I'm done, y'all. That plane went completely sideways. It went sideways, y'all, like, my heart drop. It's, I know my heart stopped beating for about five seconds. Okay, about two seconds. Okay, maybe one second. We're gonna say two seconds, but it stopped beating. And then, um, yeah, and then it did it again. But he said it happened because we were in front of a, a bigger plane, but he said they were way up there. But their air, like they were extra air hit us. You know, all the baby planes just knocked it on over. Turn sideways, but yeah. Actually, I'm gonna eat. I got about an hour and a half. So pretty much, ooh, about an hour, yeah. Okay, you guys, I made it to my hotel. I'm so mad about this fro, man. <laughs> like, y'all. What's happening here? Okay, anyways, the flight was, um, this last flight was good. I've never had Popeye's chicken tenders, and they were decent. Glad I still have, oh, I'm gonna eat those to eat the rest of the mashed potatoes. Um, where is the light? Oh, I forgot hotels, all these lamps. So, yeah. Um, other than that, tomorrow, we don't leave until like 4, 4 p.m. or something. This is my hotel. I'm in West Virginia, whatever. Now, there's no view. It's literally a brick wall. Oh, what is that? Somebody killed a bug on the wall and then left the stain up there. Now I gotta, I gotta check hard for bugs. Let me check for, check with, check for bugs for um, get any bags of loose. What else? Um, yeah. I just this lady wants some breakfast. She's talking about um. I said y'all got waffles. She was like, yeah, we have that on the menu, which means we have to pay. But she was like, yeah, y'all got a discount. So yeah, y'all, easy flight. I gotta get my hair. I gotta fix my hair because this is not. Mm, ooh, mm, okay, sis. Okay, this is not giving what it should give. So yeah, um, yeah. So easy day in West Virginia. I'm going to bed. All right, y'all. The curls are back. The hair is better because yesterday, you know. So today I'm getting ready to head back to Atlanta. I'm currently in Charleston, West Virginia. It's one of these West Virginians, one of them. But um, yeah, and when I get there, my best friend Kenny is there. He'll be in Atlanta. So um, he'll be at the airport. He has a little weekend trip he's doing. And um, I was like, since you got like this long two hours sick, can you like go to Buffalo Wild Wings and order wings, please? Cause I'm hungry. So yeah, I'm gonna meet up with him. And yeah, and after that, I'll come back to Charleston, y'all. I did not know this. I don't know what I was looking at on my schedule, but I come back to Charleston. So today is coffee, tea, and water there, coffee, tea, and water back. And then I'm done, I'm back here again tonight and I leave the same time tomorrow. But yeah, smooth, easy day, no complaints, hopefully. <laughs> Chicken. I'm gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings. 
Yeah. Okay, my bad. My caffeine and rubbing in. I had to do my brief briefing. So pretty much, um, couldn't go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Didn't have enough time. It's a 45 minute wait. And I didn't get to see Kenny because he missed his first flight. He was on standby, so he's here at the airport now. He made it in time, so that's good. But yeah, other than that, um, chill day. Last chill flight. Everybody's chill, so no complaints. So yeah, off to West Virginia. Okay, y'all, I made it to back to the hotel room. Um, yeah, I'm laughing because Kenny texted me. Kenny texts me, uh, so they put, he finally got on his flight and they put this man in first class. He texts me talking about some, uh, LOL, they already bringing me drinks. This stuff dope. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> but I'm glad he's getting the experience or whatever. Like, it's so, it is dope. First class is like really dope. Ugh, look at this. My hair has shrunk up. But, anyways, so, um, the last flight, this flight just now had like, it wasn't bad turbulence, but it kind of got me. And I think because of my car being broken into um, the other day, like everything still has me like a little, just a tad bit on edge, just a little bit. So stuff like that worries me. But like turbulence never really bothered me before. I don't know, it's just my, my, just my mind is still just shooken up with everything. But yeah. Easy day. Back at the same hotel. Leave late tomorrow. I go somewhere. I don't even know. Call this service flight because I don't remember what I said, but yeah. Good morning, y'all. I'm tired. I'm only up for breakfast. Um, cut this AC on nice. So when I get back, I can go to bed. I hate being cold, but when I'm cold, I can go back and get hot. Turn the heat on, whatever. I go go to breakfast. It's not free, but. I was I could not survive like I did just I had a bad headache, a hunger headache. So, yeah, I'm gonna go get breakfast, even though we gotta pay for it, but you get ten percent off with your crew badge, so yeah. Okay y'all. I got the breakfast. It was good. I'm gonna insert a picture somewhere here. I got the waffles and the egg and cheese. And it was only ten dollars. So it was nine nine cents for the egg. I didn't tell her to give me two. Or whatever we are um today i'm leaving from west virginia to uh, atlanta then atlanta to what is on this wall yeah atlanta to um louisiana and then i stay there and tomorrow i have five legs and the first one to service the rest of them chilling so yeah Okay, y'all, I made it to Atlanta, y'all. That last flight, we were delayed 40 minutes because the lady, it was a lady who was to come with the baby. The baby didn't come. So the gate agent, of course, you have to um, take the baby off because just in case something happens to the plane and we're going down, we need to know how many people, we need to account for everybody. We don't want to be looking for a baby that's not a baby. The gate agent didn't know how to fix it, how to take it off. So yeah, but it was a great flight. We had good people. Everybody was nice. So many people said it was a great flight. It's that one lady told me I should come to her company, but I love my work for so I just let them tell me and I go about my day because I'm I ain't going nowhere. Y'all, I'm hot, I'm sweating, I'm kinda hungry, I got a headache. But yeah. I love what I do. But this lady, she's like, I'm gonna tweet, I'm gonna tweet um your company about you. I was like, thank you. So yeah. Alright, y'all. Next flight, Marvel, Louisiana. Okay, you guys, I made it to my hotel in Mala, Louisiana. Nice. Let's check out shower. Okay. Shower. Oh, the humidity did my hair, but it looks better in person. Room, room. So yeah, um, today was nice. Let's see. Um, we ended up switching captains good because the first one didn't talk as much and y'all know I don't like that. What else? Um, y'all, my biggest pet peeve I learned today. I got a headache, by the way. My biggest pet peeve is um people whistling at you during, like, at the airport. Like, somebody whistled at me. And, of course, I didn't look back, but I kept going. And then, um, but I knew it was towards me because I was the only person that walked by. And then the person, they ended up getting on my plane. 
So it was just so awkward. Like they stared at me the entire flight. And so that was just so uncomfortable, but whatever. But, um, gosh, my head hurts. I guess my head hurt because y'all put in so much energy on that first flight. I was literally like, so many people, they was like, you should do stand-up comedian, y'all. I was like, look, the same jokes you hear, I tell the same jokes to everybody on my plane. Everybody hear the same jokes, same little knock-knock jokes. Well, not knock, not the same little jokes I say. But it was like, you should still be a stand-up comedian. I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, easy flight, um, very chill. So yeah, headache. Tomorrow, our van time is at 645. 645, y'all, 645. And I don't end tomorrow till 6 p.m. I have five flights and one service. It's the first one. So, yeah. All right, you guys. I forgot to update y'all this morning. So, basically, I'm going to head to my road. I got my um, locations wrong yesterday. I said I was going to Brunswick, Georgia. I'm actually going to, you know what? I don't remember. I'm going to Golden Triangles. I know that. And I think Columbus. But those are all quick turns, no service. But yeah, five legs today and I'm done. I'm supposed to go home today, but Kenny decided to leave the next day, tomorrow. So I'm gonna stay one day longer and bring him from Atlanta's airport to Birmingham. I'm tired. I got a bad headache. I had a headache since yesterday. I got too hot, I think. But um, I took some medicine. I hope it like, hurry up. Hurry up and kick in, cause I'm tired. And they gave us a burrito, some type of burrito for breakfast this morning. Yeah, that, that just wasn't here. No, I threw that away. It just wasn't doing what it should do. So yeah, stay with me. Y'all, it's hot. Look at my hair, I look a mess. Oh, it was all human this morning. It, oh. it thick though, it thick, it thick. Okay, let me stop, but for real. Um, so yeah, five legs, I'm done. Plane was hot, same plane all day, but that's what you get on the 200. Um, what else? Easy day, smooth day. My second leg, Um, <laughs> I had this, It was. she was an aunt and her nephew, they were so funny. She was running on the plane. She was like, girl, I didn't even know we were boarding. And then we got on here. Everybody was on here. She was like, girl, I'm so lying. I didn't even know y'all was waiting on us. We weren't waiting on them, but she was. They was last to get on. They had 10 more minutes. She said, girl, we was at TJ on Friday. I was going to order me um, Long Island nice tea. So, yeah, y'all, it is so hot. But, um, yeah, this is the last day of the polo. After that, I am back in my full uniform. So yeah, because summer, well, August is over. Well, it's gonna be over, but I don't work no more until September, so yeah. So now I'm gonna hang up at my crash pad for a few hours, and when Ken flight come in at 5 a.m., I'm heading to Birmingham. So you guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe.